Hi everybody, let me show you how to set up your Herd Effect Pro extension. Let's create uh, an extension set. We call this an extension set that will generate extensions based on the template that you set up inside your extension set. So let's go ahead and add new. Let's pretend we're making a new order extension set. So place new order. Let's change something around here. New purchase. Um, I will use shopping basket icon. Shopping basket. Here we go. Now what's important is the names and the cities. Because I want to say John from St. Petersburg has just placed an order for a certain amount and the amount should come here according to English punctuation so let's deal with this this is the most important part this is your template uh, of your notification set and these are your variables so and here are your the values for your variables we have prepared a handy list with cities and names how do I open it? it used to be openable all right well I'll just download it right Okay, so I just take this list of names and I paste it in here. And I take the, the list of cities and I paste it in here. I tweak the amounts, let's say, and I want it to be on a certain page, just on one certain page. I could choose all best posts and pages and things like that, but. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I just want it to be on a certain page, which is this one. I check the address and I see that the ID is 467. So put it here, 467. All right. Now, guys, important thing. Don't make your variable values go on separate lines because that will break the extension set and the, the extensions will not show up. This is important. We are looking into ways to fix this, but currently just please make it a single line separated by comma. All right. Okay, it looks fine. Let's see where I wanted to position. I can play with the colors and uh, with the positioning, let's say I want it in bottom uh, and bottom 10%, uh, let's say I want the 5 and the right position 5 as well. Now um, I want to leave the closing. Outer close means how long one notification will stay visible. 5 seconds is good enough. Animated display, yes, from the bottom appearance mode I want it to be random so it appears that the um, purchases are coming in randomly so minimum 5 seconds maximum 10 it's okay for now maybe my orders are coming a little not so often like this for example and looks good it looks good. I can tweak the text color, icon color. I'm fine with white, I think. And um, just save. Let's take a look at my page. This is an, a, another one. That's not the one I created. So let me just close it.
here we go and they come in right here let's say I'm reading something as a user they come in I can close them and they will not bother me alternatively you could disable the closing by just hiding close bottom update wait for it here we go and it's not closable anymore Let's take a look at something else. The variables are names and cities, but if you smart, you could guess that you could use them for anything you want. For example, uh, let's take a look at social mention. How are we using it here? John has mentioned us on Facebook. How we do it? That's it. I've put the networks I want here. Also, if you want, for example, uh, certain values for your amounts and not a range, you could use the second variable for certain amounts as well, like nineteen dollars, twenty nine, etc. If you have fixed prices for your products, for example. This is the basic overview, guys. Have fun and let us know what you will come up with.